Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I am assisting the police with their investigation. I'm Benjamin Fowler, and I was arrested by mistake. I swear it. You have not been arrested, Mr. Fowler. You are here as a witness. Oh, but I saw nothing. I swear. Let me go. Could you tell me what you were doing at the scene of the accident? I was working on the square's statue. I worked for the council, I swear it. Mr. Fowler, does the name Rasco ring any bells with you? First time I ever heard it, I swear. But your tattoo resembles his. You are in his gang, are you not? Um, um, uh, no, it, it was a long time ago. I already forgot, I swear it. I just picked a few pockets for him when I was a young fellow. But I ain't proud of what I did. All my family, my parents, my brothers, dogs and cats all died when I was a lad. I wouldn't have survived otherwise. Do you ever work with electricity? Yes, sometimes. I repair electric lampposts, but I'm not a specialist. I swear it. It's new, isn't it? And complex and dangerous. I understand. Mr. Holmes. I know you're a great detective and you understand me, so please let me go. I know nothing. I swear... Yes, you swear it. I know. Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Thomas Garrett. Why am I here? <coughs> you are a witness to murder. Of course. Well, it wouldn't be the first time that the police jailed an innocent man in order to close a case. No one has been charged yet. Yet. Did you perhaps see anything in particular during or after this disaster? Yes. I saw part of your bourgeoisie burn up and explode. It was spectacular. Why did you remain in the square? Why not seek shelter? Like the rest of the sheep. There were some wounded comrades, workers. I wanted to help them. Do you have any electrical knowledge? How do you know about that? Are you a mind reader? There are electrical wires amongst your belongings. Clever. Yes. I'll teach electrics to my comrades, since I'm currently without paid work. I'm self-taught, so we're not as dumb as you might think. And I don't want to work for bosses, anyway. You have a severe cough. Are you suffering? It's only a cold. <coughs> Why not be honest with me? You are spitting up black fluid. Ah, well observed. Yes, I have enough coal dust in my lungs to fuel an entire London district. You were a miner then? Since the age of 13, yes, at the Newcastle Mines. 15 years of hell. Those were bloody times. But now it's over. I don't want to die in those holes like my father and my brothers did. 
in order to line the pockets of the rich. <laughs> Belongings of the victims, Rasco and his acolyte. Rasco is fond of licorice, huh? A normal pocket knife, a standard deck of playing cards, a Webley revolver, a police report about Rasco. He's only a minor criminal. Fresh paint, but from something else. Mud. Oh, it smells bad. There was a collision here. The technical cab collided and stopped here. The lock was forced. Workshop. Saleable items are produced. Here. 
mud. Oof, smells bad. It looks as though the carpet was placed here intentionally. An old access point to the sewers.
Red powder. Given the circumstances, most probably iron oxide. Magnesium strips. Metal powder. Looks like aluminium. So, it was the goal of Rasco's gang to rob the bank. The thieves have opened almost all of the deposit boxes. They must have taken a great many valuables. The thieves have opened almost all of the deposit boxes. They must have taken a great many valuables. This vault belongs to the Bank of England. An old map of the sewers with a red cross. All of the licorice has been eaten. The licorice was found both at the sewers and at the... Metal rings. They're used to hold the barrel in one piece. A banknote. Dry, so it hasn't been here very long. This cigarette stub is dry. It was discarded fairly recently. Murad. Quite a popular brand of cigarette. These barrels are empty and unsealed. Hmm. 
Murad. Quite a popular. The tobacco's aroma is still strong. It's uh, sweet and nutty. The thieves used these barrels for the loot, which they then threw into the water. I need to warn Lestrade about this. Mr. Butcher. Shh. She's finally asleep. I knew you'd return. You should go to Stockholm with your daughter. You will save her. I've made my decision. Leave now. You understand? I was forced to do all this. Perhaps you were. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Goodbye. <laughs> 